As the pandemic rages on, many regions around the world are re-entering into lockdowns. And that is pushing many Airbnb hosts towards longer-term guests. Which, in my opinion, is a great strategy, as travel in these regions is being severely restricted. So if you're thinking about hosting longer-term guests, you'll want to tune in because I'll be uncovering it all. How to advertise to them, how to prepare for them, and how to price to them. So be sure to watch until the very end. I've been going live a few days after I post a new video for a few weeks now, and we've had some really great discussions and questions. And to keep it going, I'll be live on Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern at 10 a.m. Pacific. Welcome to another episode of Airbnb Uncovered. I'm Matt, the creator of AirbnbUncovered.com and Airbnb Superhost. On this channel, I uncover some of the best kept hosting secrets, as well as share with you everything that I've ever learned after hosting over 3,000 guests. My tips, tricks, and best practices are focused on helping new hosts earn more revenue, attract the best guests, and achieve super host status faster. So if you're new to hosting on Airbnb, this is the right channel for you. This episode is brought to you by my free upcoming masterclass on the three hacks to earning more on Airbnb during the pandemic. On this masterclass, I'll be going deep on strategies and hacks for hosting during the pandemic. In fact, I'll be going deeper than I ever have done publicly before. I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how I've been surviving the pandemic as well as profiting during it. The link to register is in the description below and I hope to see you there. Now, back to the task at hand, hosting longer-term guests. I'm calling them longer-term because I want to be clear that these are short-term rental guests who are staying longer than 28 days, but they are not long-term tenants in the traditional sense. So let's start with how to attract them. I love me some great data, and Airbnb has given us some key findings on longer-term guests from a survey they did in October. So let's break down some key findings and I'll walk you through how you can make this data work in your business. According to Airbnb's October study, 46% of longer-term guests have visited three times or more in the past, or they've lived in the location previously, or they currently live there. This tells us that past guests can be a great source of long-term guests. So why not get in touch with your past guests and tell them that you're now hosting longer stays and maybe even offer them a special rate. There was one part of that stat from Airbnb that I thought was pretty interesting and it was the last part at the end, or currently live in the location. This got me thinking, why would someone from the same location rent an Airbnb for longer term, but not long term in the traditional sense? I can see a weekend getaway, but for 28 days or longer, but not like a year. And then I read that 8% more long-term guests are relocating than before COVID, which explains away part of this group, people moving within the same location. 54% of longer-term guests know someone in the destination. And this isn't overly surprising, as guests are traveling to be temporarily closer to loved ones or return from assignments abroad. The real takeaway from this one though, is to be mindful that your friends and family can be great sources of guests as friends and loved ones return. The last numbered stat is that 65% of longer term guests are working or studying remotely while they're traveling. And they're enjoying the freedom that comes from being in a new location and not having to commute to or from work and school. Of no surprise, is that these guests are placing prime importance on internet speed and a comfortable workplace. I did a video on how to highlight both of these features and to attract these sorts of guests to your listing. And you can watch it by clicking on the little I in the upper right hand corner. Hosting a longer term guest is a little different than hosting a short term guest. These guests will want to unpack and make your space feel more like their home. Create extra storage space by removing excess towels, linens, and cleaning supplies that you may keep on hand. Just make sure you leave enough of these for your guests. 
The biggest flag here is that oftentimes when guests leave, there is a much larger turnover. You're going to want to give yourself extra time to complete all your normal cleaning and sanitization because these will take longer, but you also need to do things that you only do monthly or quarterly like changing air filters, vacuuming under the beds, dusting baseboards, washing the walls. So for that reason, you might want to include a mandatory monthly cleaning to lessen the burden when the guest checks out. Your guests may rearrange some of your furniture and cupboards. Again, give yourself time to reset these items. Make a list of all the things you normally do in your home over the next few months and then try to do them early. This could include things like turning on the heating system, bringing in summer furniture, turning off dehumidifiers, and any maintenance like pest control, furnace inspections, or pool and spa maintenance so that you can minimize interruptions on your longer term guests. Once your guests have checked in, you're probably not going to hear from them after they've settled, but don't let that from, don't let that stop you from checking in on them from time to time. Since your listing won't be getting much activity while your long-term guests are staying, you're going to want to ensure that it gets a five star review when they leave to help your search ranking. And on the point of your listing being dead on Airbnb because it's booked, many hosts will actually snooze their listings for part of the long-term reservation. This is to preserve your listing search ranking. See, while your calendar is blocked from the long-term reservation, it drops in search because it's not getting that many views or bookings since the dates are unavailable. Pausing your listing can preserve its ranking in search and then it will give you a natural boost that normally comes from unpausing a listing. And finally, don't forget to ask your longer term guests to water your plants and do any other regular maintenance that they can easily perform to help you out. Question, have I missed anything you need to do before a longer term guest stays in your home? Tell us what you do in the comments below. I promised at the beginning of the video that I'd talk about pricing. When I'm trying to attract longer term bookings, I use a two pronged strategy and then I alternate between the two. I alternate between the two because I want to show activity on my listing so that I can rise in search results. Often when you're looking for a longer term guess, your activity is going to slow down a bit. I also want to maximize my chances of getting strike through pricing shown on my listing. So hence the decreasing and increasing prices. So let me explain. The first strategy I use is to increase my nightly rates to discourage short term guests. And then I offer a discount on monthly stays, but don't take this too far. The search algorithm on Airbnb likely won't take too kindly to you inflating your nightly rates so far that your monthly discount will take them down back to your regular nightly rate. Then in one to two weeks, I lower my nightly rates to my discounted price and then I remove the discounts. Then one to two weeks after that, I switch them back if I don't have any bookings yet. One thing to bear in mind though, is if you're planning to use a discounted rate for returning guests, like I talked about earlier in the video, then remember to include that discount when setting your prices. Hosting during the pandemic is definitely challenging. Our typical guests are changing constantly and along with it are the amenities and pricing that attracts them. Did I ever think that I'd do a video on attracting longer term stays? Not really. I have one listing where we do a minimum six week stay because it's a super high end property and we don't want the term. So maybe I'd do one on long term, but only if I was super out of content. But this video on long-term hosting is a prime example of how hosts are having to evolve during the pandemic. And this is why I'm hosting my upcoming masterclass on three hacks to earning more during the pandemic. It's a real inside look into how I survived and profited during the pandemic. And it's the most in-depth I've ever gone with my teachings. The link to register is in the description below. As always, I hope that you learned something from this video. 
And you know the drill. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I've got lots of other great content on hosting during the pandemic, so be sure to check those videos out if you haven't already. And I hope that I and I hope that I'll see you on my live broadcast on Friday, 1 p.m. Eastern at 10 a.m. Pacific. So until then, bye for now.